Hello, and welcome to This Month in Data Dog, where we'll update you on our latest features, product announcements, events, and more. This episode, we're spotlighting Datadog software composition analysis, which continuously monitors the libraries running in production to provide teams with a single source of truth for vulnerabilities at the service level. We're also covering a new advanced tracing feature that enables teams to search and filter traces, retention analysis, which measures user engagement on your app over time, and a centralized ticketing system for tracking, triaging, and troubleshooting issues. But before we get to those, I want to share a recent post giving my perspective on how Datadog is fostering an organizational-wide culture and practice of enabling security to be a foundational component of Dev and Ops. Over the last decade, DevSecOps has become a popular buzzword, one that, to be frank, I'm a bit skeptical of. What I'm not skeptical of is the benefit of security, development, and operations folks working together and the importance of integrating security throughout the development lifecycle. Anyone interested in learning more about how we're applying these concepts at Datadog is encouraged to check out the post, which we'll link to in our show notes. And now, on with the show. Kicking things off is Trace Queries, which is now generally available. Traces offer essential insights into the performance of distributed applications, but determining the root cause or broader business impact of performance issues can often require complex correlations between spans. Now, there's Trace Queries, which enables you to search and filter your trace data according to attributes, service relationships, endpoints, and more. Say there's a service with a high error rate and many upstream and downstream dependencies. With this new feature, you can query traces that include an error for that service, visually highlight the requested paths and dependencies for those specific traces, and zero in on the root cause. And that just scratches the surface. See for yourself how Trace Queries and APM can enable you to measure end-to-end -end latency, track business critical functionality, and more. Up next is retention analysis. Studying the immediate impact of new releases is often as easy as analyzing the short-term changes in user behavior or system activity. Assessing your app's long-term viability, on the other hand, requires finding the number of users who are regularly returning, particularly to pages or elements that were recently changed. That's where retention analysis can help. This new feature enables you to track and visualize user engagement, such as how many users returned to a specific view or took a particular action over a series of days, weeks, or even months. That way, teams are better able to measure overall user satisfaction and uncover pain points in an app's UX, which can then be optimized. Retention analysis and Datadog real user monitoring is available today in public beta. And finally, we're excited to bring you case management, which is now generally available. When there's not an effective triage process to respond to alerts, on-call engineers are often paged for each and every alert, even when they're false alarms or minor issues. As engineers quickly build alert fatigue, low priority issues can go unaddressed and become bottlenecks later on. Case management equips teams with a centralized ticketing system so they're better able to track, triage, and troubleshoot issues that haven't yet escalated to incidents. Across the Datadog platform, you can easily create cases from events, alerts, security signals, and other data. Those cases are then captured in a single view where you can see the assignee, whether a case is already being worked on, as well as associated environments, services, and more. Case management is generally available so be sure to check it out today. That was just a sneak peek of the many features we released this month. For a full list, visit the link shown. This month, we're putting the spotlight on Datadog Software Composition Analysis, or SCA. Here's Daniel to tell you more. Hi, I'm Daniel Blasquez, Product Manager at Datadog. Today, I want to show you how Datadog SCA helps you leverage open source with confidence. You see, open source is becoming a very important part of modern cloud applications. We love how open source projects accelerate innovation, foster adoption of standards, and improve transparency. However, open source projects come with risks, such as security vulnerabilities, malware, and licensing considerations. Traditional tools based solely on code scanning 
do not work well at the speed of DevOps. And we hear from our customers that cloud native teams struggle to incorporate them in their workflows. Data.SCA expands the traditional SCA coverage and combines in one product early and productive detection in the source code with chief write capabilities to monitor your existing production services. This means that Data.SCA is a complete end-to-end -end solution to reduce open source risk from code to services in one product. Here you see how we seamlessly pivot from the repository code view to the runtime production view. For each library, Datadog SCA calculates the security posture, including the number and severity of vulnerabilities, and other risk aspects such as licensing. It doesn't matter if we found the library via code scanning or via service runtime analysis. It's all there. Why is this important to you? If you're a DevOps engineer, you will be able to see where the vulnerability is running right now and who to contact to fix the most important problems. If you're a developer, you have all the information you need to fix the most important problems, including where to apply the fix and when was the problem introduced. If you work in security, you will benefit from end-to-end -end visibility and from the full context prioritization to get an accurate picture of the security posture of your application from code repository to the services already running. Datadog SCA is generally available for all APM customers with source code analysis capabilities in beta for Java, Go, Python, and Node. If you're a user of application vulnerability management today, you will be upgraded to Datadog SCA transparently. Now back to Jeremy. Thanks, Daniel. Before we go, we want to share a pair of new courses in our learning center. The first course covers managing services with the service catalog while the other covers optimizing request latency with profiling timelines. Visit our Learning Center to check out these courses and many others. And that wraps up today's episode. If you have a question, comment, or suggestion for a future episode, comment below or email us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of This Month in Data. See you next month.